Hello Wargamers, I'm here with a new video. This time I want to cover a very basic question and is what army I, I want to collect or what is the best army to collect for me? This is a question that a lot of beginners have when we start in any wargame. In that video I will try to cover or I will try to give some guidances to that question and at the same time I will focus a little bit on Warhammer 40k where is where I have more experience. So when we have this question, what is the army, what is the best army for me, what is the army I want to collect, the first thing I will ask you to question yourself is why I'm playing this game? What What is the reason that I'm playing this game? So I'm playing this game because I want to be super competitive and win in the tournaments. I'm playing with this game because I like some miniatures. I'm playing this game because I like to paint, collect, and make some occasional games. This is quite important question you have to do yourself because this will give guidance and dictate what are more important for you in the next questions. So next question will be what is my style of play? So what what is the army that is matching more with my way of playing? And what that what I mean is what I like more, uh, for example, in 40k, why I prefer, I want to prefer a shooting army, I would prefer more to play with mobility, I would like to have an extremely elite army, I like to have very little miniatures, or I want to an art army, so I want a lot of miniatures, I, I'm very cheap. This is quite important, because if you know more or less what is your style of playing, you can look for armies that are matching more to your style. Following with the questions, it's also important to, to know what are the miniatures that you like more from the lineup of the game. So what are the army that is appealing more you for the aesthetic of the miniatures. And this is very important if you want to collect or you want to paint. So if you for very competitive players, maybe this is not the most important thing, but for the people that like to do collection or like to paint is quite important that what you paint is what you like to paint and you are not painting things because that you don't like because then you will be bored of painting your army and together with that question is also what is the background of this army so yeah there are people that can give a lot of importance to the background they want to feel identified with the army and there will be other people that will not need any background or they are not interested in the background so this is very personal choice but it's a thing that you have to keep in mind. The armies have a background. This background is also related to the aesthetic of the miniatures and is related to the way of this army is playing. But uh, if for you it's important the background, take this into account when you are selecting your army. On the other side, if you are a competitive player, you will be interested in to know what are the armies that are more efficient this at uh, this moment on the game. So, yeah, normally in all these games that you play with points by miniature, there are some armies that are considered to be better than others. It's because a little bit, uh, it's not easy to have a fully balanced system of points. So there are also some armies, and also depending on the meta game or all other circumstances, the rules, so the rules are evolving or changing, there are armies that get more benefits than others. So it's... It's important to look at that, but on the other side, I will tell you, be careful, because what is the best army today can be that in a couple of months, it's not the best army anymore. Or maybe in one year, there are three or four armies that are much better than the army that you are collecting. So, to have the best army, it will be only for a period of time, unless you're changing from army to army almost every three four months. Another point that you should not forget, and it's important you take into account when you're starting an army, is what is the budget I have and what is the timeline I put to complete this army. For example, I have a lot of budget and I will complete this army in one month. I will look for a painted army and then I just will invest money and will ask a, a company that will paint the army for me or it's a long-term project, so I will start with very little amount of miniatures, maybe I start with 10 miniatures, I start painting them, then in a month I will buy 10 more, 
and I will start exploring. So this is very important when you also when you selecting army, how you are going to go into into the game. So you are going to do big investment short term, or you are more planning for a long term and sh uh, longer construction of your army. And on top of the points I exposed before, I will recommend you that maybe it's good that you do a couple of games. Maybe you use proxy miniatures. Maybe you use an army from a friend of maybe in the shop. They can show you how this game is played and they can borrow you an army for, for some games. Because this, there, there will you have better knowledge on what is the army that is matching most to your way of playing. So wrapping up all these things. So I think it's good to invest some time at the beginning to exploring internet, to explore with friends. In internet, there is a lot of information about what is the lineup of the armies, what is the background, what, what is your way you like to play most. And then once you have clear, start investing money. If not, if you invest from the beginning, maybe you only focus in one area and you are missing other points that maybe are also important for you. And that's all what I want to cover in that first video. I hope this is helping you in the way of deciding your army. And in the next video, I will give a very brief view of all the armies that are in 40k to help and guide some of the people that have no idea on, on the armies or you want to have a short and brief video of all the armies that you can play in 40k. So thank you very much for watching and see you again later. Bye.